close your eyes and focus on your breath. Know when it's coming in, know when it's going out. And then when it comes in again, goes out again. Just stay with the breathing, in and out, in and out like this. And let the breathing be comfortable. If the breathing's not comfortable, the mind's not going to want to stay. So you can experiment for a while to see what kind of breathing feels best for the body right now. It's good to start with a couple of good, long, deep in and out breaths. Because all too often the body is starved of breath energy. We're paying too much attention to other things, so we're not really looking after the breath needs of the body. And yet the breath is what keeps the body alive. It's the basic process that keeps the body and the mind together. And it's one of the few processes that you can actually control. So take some time to learn how to use that fact to a good purpose. Not only for the health of the body, but also to give the mind a good place to settle down. If the mind doesn't, doesn't have a place to settle down, it's just wandering around like a homeless person all the time. And we know how much comfort homeless people have. They may find a little something in the garbage, but that's about it. When the time comes to sleep, they have no protection. And it's the same with the mind. It just wanders around all the time without any place to return to. And John Lee gives the analogy of someone who has a Airplane. You're up in the airplane, but you don't have a landing strip. What are you going to do? You end up crashing down here and crashing down in the forest, crashing down in the, in the water. In other words, the mind doesn't really have any safety. Because the mind's thoughts can be very useful, but there are times when they can also cause a lot of harm. And people sometimes actually kill themselves over their thoughts. That's when your thinking gets way out of control. But even if it doesn't reach that level, we still cause ourselves a lot of suffering just by the way we think. Thinking about the wrong things, thinking in the wrong ways. Thinking ways that are not really helpful for putting an end to suffering and end up causing more suffering. Even though what we really want is to find true happiness, to find a sense of, at least a sense of pleasure that you can rely on, a sense of well-being you can rely on. And yet so many of our thoughts and so many of our actions go in the opposite direction. They actually destroy any sense for true happiness that we might have. So the mind needs to be trained. And the first part of the training is learning how to stay right here, stay in place, so that when the mind has an idea it wants to wander off here or there, you say, nope, 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 and then you can make that nope stick. So you really do stay right here. It's like when they teach you boxing, the first thing they teach you is how to withdraw, how to back out of a bad situation. So you need, the mind needs a good, s still and solid place where it can back out of its thoughts when it needs to. Once you've learned that skill, then you've gone a long ways into mastering the ways of the mind. So use the breath here as a home base, as a safe place where you can retreat to when you need to. That helps keep the mind from causing itself a lot of unnecessary suffering right there. <laughs>